Hey guys, Freaky Finance here. Just trying to put out some more videos for myself. Um, I might do a different type of theme where I review trades that have worked or haven't worked. Currently, I'm still doing ones that are still actively, I'm actively in, right? And I usually show my size. Um, this one is Meta, so we're just gonna do a quick little Facebook. Most people know what Facebook is, um, so I don't need to go into detail about it. But uh, really, maybe what I'll do is go through the thought process of why I got in it when I did for myself to learn over time. So hopefully, I can repeat it. Not to say that this would be an easily repeatable thing, because the market is so frantic sometimes. So anyway, Meta, Facebook, it's pretty established. Most people know it. <laughs> you know, your Facebook, your Messenger, your Instagram, your WhatsApp. Um, they have Quest and Rayban, but those are actually detractors to the valuation. Really, if you needed to understand Facebook, it's really um, advertising. So I bought Facebook in 2011 once, mainly because the market was picking ones up because he showed up with a sweater. I'm pretty sure that was the gist of it, and the share price was reacting to it, and I thought, well, everyone around me is on this thing, right? And I was still in, I think I was in fourth year university at the time, and um, that was pretty obvious that I was going to take off even more than the share price was in this posing, and they're discounting that they didn't think Mark was going to be able to uh, get into mobile advertising. Sure enough, <laughs> they did. Um, but that's neither here nor there, but that just kind of tells you the backstory, and so I knew advertising is the crux of the meta. And we also knew that um, digital advertising was suffering last year. We saw that actually right around uh, the very, I want to say the end of Q1, so like March and April of 2022. It was kind of more obvious that we were starting to see declines in advertising, especially on the digital side, and then traditional followed suit uh, probably months thereafter. Anyway, so what I did at the time is I wanted to see what the ARPU was in 2022 versus what the ARPU was in 2015. Um, you might be like, well, why 2015? Well, that's because the price started approaching where it was in 2015, right? So I was like, okay, basically what I'm trying to see is am I getting a relative deal to where it's traded in the past? I knew it was cheap on backwards looking numbers. Most people did, but I wanted to kind of get a margin safety based on historical past. So anyway, what I did here was look at the ARPU. They're making about 40 bucks a user. And then what I compared it to was our poo in 2015 was only 12 bucks a user. So even if the network size wasn't growing like it was and has, it may continue to do so, um, I'll be at a slower rate. <laughs> um, the uh, the ARPU has gone up materially from 12 to 40. So they're making more than three X per user that they had anyway. So that kind of tells you the strength of the product and how it's um, attracting advertising dollars and how it continues to do so over time. So that that's kind of tells you the strength of a brand, right? So we knew like it wasn't going away when you can grow like that. Um, what else do we know at the time? So this is in hindsight, because now we're in Q2 2023, um, really the beginning of Q3 2023, but we knew this is when we were starting to see the real pain in the stock. Um, we knew there was a decel year over year, so they're reporting against these numbers here. So we knew they're actually gonna show negative revenue growth, right? So all of a sudden the multiple contracts because you're no longer a growth story. And so what I thought was, well, digital uh, well, advertising is cyclical by nature. So it's overreacting to a cyclical pullback in advertising, um, mainly because we saw the shift from goods to services. So people pull back on goods advertising. Um, I want to do this with Video After Air Canada because I wanted to show the shift to services is working and it's playing out. Um, one of the things that other people were saying, and myself included, is that we saw these big losses from operating Realty Lab. And this put a, basically took your operating in margin from 43% to 20%, basically have the profitability of the company on these large investments that they're making into the metaverse. And so that was another reason why the valuation was hit. And that's a real reason why, right? The market oh, doesn't believe in Mark, right? It never really has. Um, so, that was kind of interesting, and it's a true reason why it would be cheaper. So what I was hoping is that this would drive it down even further and get more. Um, I have sold some. I still own a token amount. Part of it is that it's always, I like to ride some of it, because I never know exactly when to sell these growth stories, because people jump on. Basically, it's very bipolar. They'll jump on when it's going up, and they'll sell it when it's going down, and it feeds on itself. Um, so all you can really do with these ones is when they start ramping like they have in a year, you just just take money off the table as it appreciates. 
And as people panic, you add to it as it goes down, right? <laughs> this, um, that's the best way I can view it. Obviously, easier to say than actually do. One of the things that also gave me a margin of safety was this one. I, I could just see the growth of the business, right? So you have a company that's $85 billion in revenue to $116 billion in revenue. Sure, it's a decrease year over year, but you're materially higher than you were. So you already knew your business is better than 2020 by a mile. But we were already getting a price that was lower than 2020 by a mile. And then, <laughs> to make it even more obvious, um, if I compare these numbers, 116, and just call it net income of more than $20 billion a year, and the high one was uh, $40 billion a year, you can see the uh, this one. You can see the revenue. <laughs> the revenue in 2015 wasn't even $20 billion a year. And now they're making $20 billion a year to $40 billion a year. So you had a, a revenue go from 19, no, yeah, $18 billion to $116 billion. But the share price was trying to tell me that it was worth the same amount. <laughs> right? So I was like, okay, this company is six times in like freaking six years. And the, they're literally giving me the same price because the revenue growth is slowing and the margin profile is decreasing. That tells you how crazy the short term is for these things and for me in the future because i could have got more aggressive here but i didn't even though in hindsight it was very obvious that's usually how these things work um anyway i just thought that was very fun right that you literally got a business that <laughs> less than a decade ago was the revenue number is now their operating profit number right near decade number just very uh, remarkable and it shows you the power of uh, psychology in markets. Um, I already talked about the ARPU for number. It just expanded so much. They still have so much room to go. Like they're making 50, call it $50 uh, average revenue per user in US and Canada. But even in Europe, they're only making 15, materially less, materially less. People are not advertising in Europe on Facebook if they're in US and Canada. And the rest of the world is very small. And this will only increase just like it did in the US and Canada, right? You have to remember the ARPU. And 2015 was only 12 for the entire company, right? And now you're at this, or just 12 in US and Canada, sorry. And now it's at 50, right? So you're, just, you're just killing it. Um, so I, I thought I'd just share that, just the power of uh, the psychology and when things are very obvious to uh, size more. That's a lesson probably for me, is that I could have sized more. I think I sold, I have already sold about 75% of it. Yeah, yeah, I only have 2,500 left in it. It's so about 20 or 75 percent of it but i could have put more in at the time but we didn't know right i didn't know when advertising was going to turn i didn't know when the margin was going to improve the depth saying they're going to put more in which they have they haven't actually decreased their losses in realty lab right um but we have seen margins improve mainly because the advertising has come back so uh even if i didn't need these losses to get worse or better rather, I just needed advertising to come back. And that's what I should have focused on instead of this, uh, this one keeping me from putting a huge position in it. These losses, right? Anyway, it's definitely a fun, fun exercise to look back on your thinking. And it's always better when I actually have the video ahead of time because then I can actually review it from what I was thinking at that time instead of a hindsight bias that I more than likely have. But anyway, here's just another way to show the growth of the Facebook, right? 18 billion to 116 billion. <laughs> just insane. Um, I didn't talk about the buybacks or anything or the balance sheet, but they're all obviously, as you can expect, pretty good when your cash flow is so high. And they are buying back shares. So anyway, there is Meta. Um, just a little free extra one I figured I'd put together, try to get under 10 minutes. Anyway, I hope you liked that video and have a great rest of your weekend.